Got vision and destiny. At elemental, that's chemistry. All those heroes, that's infinity. It's end game. That's Yugi peoples. Welcome to the discussion video. Alright, so yeah, it does feel like it's been a while, huh? Haven't been <laughs> uploading quite like I used to, but we're gonna get back on that this week. Um also, you know, I kinda had this thing where people would um how do you say like challenge me or ask me to build decks and to play them and such and i had two of them recently we had pure destiny hero for 2024 and then we also had uh somebody requested pure neos which you know i figured it's most likely you know cosmos neos and um you know i've done that one before but he wanted me to do it without the vision heroes so yeah we're gonna talk about those the destiny hero deck i had a top four finish and i decided to play it again mixed it up a little bit and then we got a second place finish where i ended up losing in the finals to flow wonder Rees, which you know i got d shifted i got ashed and bailed I believe all three of those and I feel like I still could have won that match like I messed up somewhere and I feel like I could have won that match and I'm probably gonna upload that video talk about it look back over it and go over it but yeah destiny hero um I could definitely say that with that deck uh, this was before the new ban list thing so but I did play Dark Angel off of there because of course he's like one of the best Destiny hero monsters. I also played it with Spellbound, Rivalry, Gozen. The Spellbounds were in the side deck but I main decked Rivalry and Gozen and you know it worked out not too bad. Dark Angel definitely won at least four or five games. The card is still really really good and you know, you get it out there where rivalry goes in or, you know, spellbound and you can win those games and such. Uh, also, Destiny Hero Dominance was pretty good. You know, being able to rearrange my opponent's top five or even my top five, you know, just kind of depending on how the game was going to go because, you know, when you destroy the Dominance or when your opponent destroys it, you can special summon back that Disc Commander and you can draw two cards. I did use it one time like that in the Flunderies matchup where I made it to where I drew the Droll and Lockbird against him but I still kind of like messed up somewhere but like I said we're gonna look at that one so I did take second place with the Pure Destiny Hero build um after I took a top four in a previous tournament with it like you know I had to try it again try to get a, a finals finish with it so that deck profile will be coming up this week along with one of the gameplay videos and then also I had a request for pure Neos. All right, so when I ran it with the Vision Hero stuff, I ended up making it like a 45 card deck. I felt like, you know, it flowed and played the way I wanted it to. But when I decided to play it, you know, well, not decided to, but when I was asked to play it without the Vision Hero stuff, it actually ended up being like a 50 card hero deck because I needed to add some stuff off in there to like kind of make it consistent to make it work and flow the way I wanted to and stuff. Um, I did end up losing to what deck did I lose to? Um, oh, this was for the new format, and I actually didn't play back when Thunder King Colossus was a thing. So in the finals, I played against Horus, um, Horus. Thunder Dragon, yeah, Horse Thunder Dragon, and yeah, I got swiftly beat. He won, he won the dice roll game one, and he went shifter into I think like what was it, Thunder Dragon Dark or one of them. I don't, I, I'm not familiar with the Thunder Dragon stuff too much, but he went shifter and then summoned Colossus on me, and I just couldn't believe how easy it was for that thing to come out on the board. So now I'm shiftered and I'm Colossus, and you know with heroes like that's just. A horrible horrible combination of things to happen to you so yeah i couldn't do anything about that we and then game two i completely messed up like it's so different running it with the um it's a whole lot different running it with the uh, just without the vision hero stuff off inside of there because i'm used to playing it with the vision hero stuff which enables me to do stuff with dpe and wake up your elemental hero, you know, the special summon spirit of Neos or, 
you know, the special summon, uh, the, the aqua dolphin, you know, just depending on what I kind of did and stuff. But with this one, it's like I have to balance and be careful with engage Neo space because you can't link summon the turn you do it. So I have to remember I can't do infernal divisor. So, you know, there were tricks I was having to do with Neo's fusion and in shuffle, you know, using in shuffle sometimes a special summon the Neo spacing out there and such. And it was just, like it did not feel as strong as powerful as it did when you put the vision hero stuff off in there and you know i mean i guess you know it still kind of makes it it you know it still makes it omni hero omni hero with um with cosmos neos lock off in there but playing it with the pure neos build i mean it felt like it was okay the combos were just like a little bit different and harder i guess because i wasn't used to it i probably could have did better especially like in that final matchup there was somewhere where I messed up and I forgot to get the vanilla Neos in order to be able to special summon out the Cosmos Neos. And yeah, it was just a whole bad thing. It's just like, I think like the main thing with that is like when we play Omni Hero, you're so used to using Infernal Divisor to grab the vanilla Neos. And with Cosmo Neos, you want to use it to grab the Panther and the Grand Mole. So, because you know, you need that and like the Dolphin or the Hummingbird or something to do it. So, I kind of messed up that combo a little bit there trying to get to that. But you know, it was all good. You know, the deck did a whole lot better than what I thought it would be. I played through, you know, quite a few things thanks to um, In Shuffle. I wish that card was quick play, it would be so much better. All right. So, yeah, the deck profiles for both of those decks will be coming up soon. Um, also, you know, y'all know I play in a Heart of the Underdog format on Thursday, on Fridays. Um, I had played Yubel in it, and the first time I played Yubel, <laughs> what is it, the Eternal Soul, ended up getting banned the following week, so I could no longer play Yubel because that's gone. There's no Super Poly in that format, and it's just like, okay, now just Yubel's gone. So... The following weeks after that, I did play, you know, Water Down, Omni Hero, because there's no mass change off in there. Since there's no Dark Law, I didn't really see the point in playing mass change. So basically, kind of like, I swapped out the mass change for In Shuffle, and I also play Protector of the Elements off in there, you know, with Spirit of the Neos, you know, like typically in our Omni Hero combo at the end, we special summon Shadow Mist to go grip mass change. Well, in the Heart of the Underdog format, I use the Wake Up Your Elemental Hero to special summon Spirit of Neos, and then use Spirit of Neos to go grab a uh, Protector of the Elements trap card. So, you know, just kind of like to switch it up to make it still run the same, I guess, just with different options. So, you know, that card was really, really good. I wish we had easier ways to summon out, you know, Spirit of Neos, but, you know, it is what it is. And yeah, so that was, that was there. It was pretty good. Um, but now going after, you know, I guess like I was like saying, like every sense, even though they do have cards that are hit on the heroes in the heart of the underdog format, I'm still constantly topping with it, especially when I play Omni Hero, you know, I'm constantly doing things with it. So that has led to, uh, now coming up favorite contact being banned from the heart of the underdog format tournament now. So I am going to have to find something else to do with my hero deck. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I still want to be able to use it, um, at least until Legacy of Destruction comes out. Then I might be able to do some stuff with Yubel. Um, yeah, we're going to find out. We'll figure it out, you know. But I, I think, like, the main thing is, like, I like the challenge of the Heart of the Underdog format, especially when they hit my cards. You know, I've had Eternal. What is the Eternal favorite get hit now? I got the the dolphin band, the Neo Spatial Aqua Dolphin Aqua Dolphin band because I made that five card hand loop. Uh, it was a four card hand loop, and then I got a tip from somebody on YouTube who watched a video, and it ended up turning into a five card hand loop. So they banned the dolphin because of that. Now favorite contact is gone, so you know that kind of eliminates the Cosmos Neo's deck completely. Omni Hero is still there. It's just, you know, I have to do it now without the Shining Neos Wingman. Now, I will say, you know, getting that third Mally might actually help quite a bit, but, you know, we'll see. So, as far as the ban list goes, um, yeah, I'm not excited about Thunder Dragon Colossus at all. Zero, zero excitement. Like, this is how much excitement I have. Like, like if I could make this negative excitement, that's how I feel about Thunder Dragon Colossus. He just hits the board way too easy. And, you know, heroes, all we do is search, 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 search. So, 
you know, it's going to be, I hope I have the out for after he activated this Thunder Dragon's effect and just threw Colossus out there on the board. You know, I know there are ways that heroes can do it as such. I just feel like, you know, this uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus is about to be, you know, just splashed into a lot of decks, kind of like how DPE was. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. As far as Mali going to three, um, it does help, you know, play through things a little bit. I guess, like, the main thing is, like, you know, having Ferris and Mali is, you know, very good for our deck. You know, especially, like, if they, um, how's that? If they go Ash on, like, your increase to go do that. You know, you have the Mali in the graveyard. You're able to banish it, special summon Mali out, go into Cross Crusader, Cross Crusader, you know, add the Vion to your hand and then normal summon your Vion because, you know, if you started off with Ferris Mallet, you haven't did your normal summon yet. So, you know, it does help in that aspect because then you still have, you know, Malicious off inside of there and you can do more stuff with it. I think, like, the main thing it enables is, you know, for us to be able to get Plasma out a little bit easier. The thing that kind of, you know, that kind of sucks about that is like going into this next format now with Bar with Baron gone and also with Borlo Savage Dragon gone, you know, those Omni negates that people use to negate Nib are completely gone now. So I feel like Nib is going to become an even bigger factor. So, you know, right now the way our hero deck is running, Omni Hero is really good. You know, if you do get Nib, you know, you're able to go into Plasma and at the end of the turn, you know, you do either your Shadow Mist or your Plasma play. And then, you know, you're good because, you know, you take the Nib and, you know, uh, equip, it to your, equip it to your Plasma and you're good. You got this big Plasma Floodgate out on the board. Whereas, you know, now I feel like people are going to be more tempted, you know, that before you reach that point, go ahead and just summon your Plasma out there. Because, you know, we have the extra Mali and more things to tribute and stuff. And then you get nibbed and it's like, oh, I shouldn't have did that. Unless you're running double plasma, I guess. You know, that could be a thing. But, yeah. Um, I don't feel like it does does too, too much. Like, you know, it's a it's like an extender. Kind of. Kind of an extender. The thing that sucks about it, you know, is like, I'm sure as hero players, we've all had those games where we opened up double Mali, mass change, or something like that, and just nothing else to go with it. So, that is going to suck a little bit more, you know, you have more chances of opening up double Mali, and even the chance of opening up triple Mali now, so, we'll see how often that ends up happening, but yeah, so, we got those two deck profiles coming up, um, duels coming up and such, and, you know, Appreciate everybody who does, you know, put in the request for certain decks and stuff. And, you know, I try my best to, to, like, I guess, like, now, like, what I'm trying to do is, like, do, play it more, like, what exactly you're looking for and stuff. So, even with the pure Destiny Hero deck, you know, the last time I played it, I did have, like, Vision Heroes off inside of there. I even, like, had, like, I think probably, like, two Stratos is off in there and Liquid Soldier. Well, this time when I built it, I actually, like, did away with all of it completely. The only one that stayed was Vion because with the Hero deck, you know, without polymerization, you're not doing very much of anything at all. So I had to put Vion off in there, but there's no Ferris, no Increase, no Hero Lives, no Stratos. None of that stuff. I did run Shadow Mist because you do need, you know, a good target to drop with Vion. So, yeah. Um, look forward to those. Appreciate everybody who, you know, stay subscribed and still hits me up and everything and stuff. And, yeah, hopefully we'll get around to doing more, going more throughout this week. And as we get, like, closer to Nationals, you know, doing more. Um, we'll have, you know, Omni Hero things going on and such but you know i'm leaning more towards Ubel for nationals but we'll see how it ends up going uh beware of super poly everywhere <laughs> appreciate everybody for staying a while to listen and i will catch y'all on the next visual my wingman, he come through, he level up, he go cool, he shining out and popping too. Over 9K, that's a breakthrough, we on top now, here's a look at our world. <laughs>